Alrighty, hey guys, this is Think Outside the Cube. Here in front of me we have a staple in the family hauler segment. This is going to be a 2017 Chevy Traverse 1LT. Coming to our window sticker, we'll take a look at that. And just to show you that nothing's changed, here we do have a 17 Traverse front-wheel drive 1LT, iridescent pearl tri-cut with the light and dark titanium cloth. This one stickers for 38225 Options, we do have the trailering package, the second row captain's chairs, as well as the style and tech pack, iridescent pearl tri-coat and front license plate bracket for that total of 38225 Gas mileage is going to be 15 city and 22 highway. Now that style and tech pack basically just gets you those 20 inch alloy wheels right there on Bridgestone tires as well as the Chevy MyLink inside and we'll take a look at that in a second. Now the Traverse is one of the um, rental company and mommy mobile favorites among many and um, it's definitely been good to Chevrolet. Ever since the Lambada or the Lambda or however you say this platform name, ever since it came out in, uh, what was it, 07? 07, I want to say. It has been a really big success, and that's mainly because there's so much room inside for the footprint of the vehicle outside. You basically get minivan-like room interior-wise. And so we'll just take a look at the interior right now. Now, as I said, we do have that light and dark titanium cloth. It's kind of a scratchy material, not really a fan of it, but I guess it will be durable for the kids. We have power seats as well as power lumbar right here. Door panel materials, they're plush enough for a mom that really could care less. She just wants a point A to point B car that's safe for her kids. Nice stitching along the door panels, padding down here. Power windows, mirrors, and locks right there as well as some door storage. Automatic headlights as well as um, dome lighting, ambient lighting, and your panel dim right here. Now this steering wheel at least dates back to the 07 redesign of the Yukon, I want to say. We do have the cruise control, audio, and Bluetooth controls. Our wipers and blinkers over here as well as high beams. Dashboard's all soft up here. We have a little storage cubby right there and then it is soft and stitched down here. We do have our MyLink. This is the smaller system. And it does have these finicky little touch sensitive buttons around it just to kind of modernize it when really it just complicates everything. We do have our single zone manual climate controls right here. There might be a set in the rear. Yes, there is, but um, we'll get to those in a second. Um, down below here are heated seats. It does come with the style and tech pack. We have our trailer haul mode, I think, and then your um, heated seats for your passenger. We have a USB power outlet. Here's that six-speed auto cup holders. And then this little portion right here does slide and adjust. You have this portion right here, and then there is some storage underneath there. Then you can open this up. We had one of these as a rental one time. Didn't really like it. Kind of smelled like old cigarette smoke. Plenty of room in there. In your glove box, it is damped. Manually dimming rearview mirror with OnStar. Mirror and vanity line on your sun visor, as well as some map lights and garage home link. So let's go ahead and check out the rear seat. Now coming to the rear seat, this is the main hub of the car, honestly. This one does have a, a few tricks up its sleeve. All of these Lambda platform vehicles do. I remember looking at an Acadia in early 2010, right before we purchased the Jeep Commander. Mom test drove that. And um, I thought these seats were so cool, how you can see how that one slid all the way up and it does give you a nice passageway into the third row. My mom didn't personally like all the tracks on the floor. She knew they would just get filled with all kinds of trash and crumbs and stuff. So um, I guess she was definitely thinking ahead and I'm sure there's plenty of these vehicles out there with um, those tracks all crumbed up and you can't move the seat and it's just a mess. But at least in this model it is the captain's chairs and so you can walk right through the middle without having to contort the seats like that. Stepping in I will slide this seat all the way back via this mechanism right here. And I do have plenty of knee room behind my 5 foot 8 driving frame, plenty of knee room down below. Door panel materials are okay, they do all follow through. Your stitching accents, padding down here, cup holder, and your door panel material or your door storage down below. Dual seat map pockets on that um, over there as well. We do have our climate controls as well as a 12 volt power outlet and some USB charging outlets down below as well. We'll take a quick look in the third row back here. Everything is hard touch on the door or on the um, sides of the vehicle. Over there we do have cup holders and storage on both sides. Up top, same illumination and um, air ducts that we do have in the second row up here. And so we'll check out our cargo room behind our third row and then I guess we'll wrap up the video. So coming back here, this one doesn't have a power trunk be with it just being a 1LT, but we still do have a backup camera and parking sensors, which is a nice touch. 
And this is the main reason you buy one of these huge vehicles is for the amount of room you have behind your third row. Even my mother's Jeep Commander, which is a much larger vehicle from the outside it looks like, you don't have nearly as much room behind your third row of seats. And so if you really need to occupy all of those, thir um, those three rows all at the same time, this is the perfect vehicle for you with all this room behind your third row. As you can see, storage under here, and you do have your spare tire located underneath the vehicle, and you can easily fold those second row of seats down, and that one's just hung on the headrest right there. But um, I, there's plenty of room back here. Now, definitely, this is not the only vehicle in the segment, of course. If it was, they probably wouldn't be able to keep these on the lot. Personally, I would go for a Highlander or Pilot, but definitely if you want to come down here and get a 2017 Traverse, I'm sure there's some really good rebates on them, and there might even be some leftover 16s. But thank you guys for watching this video of a 2017 Chevy Traverse, um, and I will see you in my next video.